thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss fluid flow, a form two physics topic. So we will start by talking about what a fluid is. And this uh, refers to any substance that is capable of flowing due to pressure difference. It includes both liquids and gases. Then uh, we have some scenarios whereby fluids uh, flow. For example, perfume spray from a perfume bottle, then a flow of water along river bends, smoking or smoke from chimney, ETC. A flowing fluid experiences internal resistance called viscosity. Therefore, viscosity we know very well is the resistance of flow in fluids, or rather that is the friction in fluids. So generally, we are saying that uh, due to low density of fluids, that is the uh, gases and liquids. Due to their low density, they are able to flow. So in this case, I want us to discuss the types of flows in fluids. So types of fluid flow, they are only two. We have a streamline flow, which is otherwise called the steady flow and the turbulent flow. To begin with the turbulent, uh, the, the streamline flow, which is called the steady flow, it is a flow in which at any given point, each and every particle of the fluid travels in the same direction and the same velocity. So the definition of streamline flow, which is also called the steady flow, is that at any given point, each particle is having the same direction of movement and also it's moving at the same velocity that is the main characteristic about a streamline or a steady flow then we have what we call a streamline this refers to the path followed by the particle in a streamline flow it is represented by a line with an arrow head and of course the narrow head this one shows the the direction it shows the direction of the fluid therefore wherever the fluid is flowing to it gets shown by a, an arrow on the streamlines so this is a tube which is having a uniform cross section a tube of flow a pipe whereby the particles in the fluid as they flow they trace what we call streamlines. So the streamline is the path followed by particles in a streamline flow. Then we can also mention something like uh, the characteristics of a streamline flow. There are only two, and we are saying streamline flows are in a streamline flow, the streamlines are parallel to each other. The streamlines are parallel to each other. In other words, streamlines, you can say, streamlines do not cross each other streamlines do not cross each other again the streamline flow is smooth and steady in other words it has no it has no edges it has no edges very smooth and steady some shapes and bodies are designed to be streamlined to enhance their motion in fluids a body is said to be streamlined if it does not affect the distribution of streamlines behind it so if a body is able to pass in a fluid and leave the streamlines unaffected in other words these are these are streamlines These are streamlines. They are found to be steady. When this body passes through them, the ones behind it will continue being steady, being smooth. Therefore, it means such a body is streamlined, a body which leaves the streamlines uninterfered without disrupting them. We call it a streamlined body. 
examples of streamlined bodies include cars, uh, jumbo jets, birds that fly, and also fish. They are streamlined. Being streamlined enables them to, to flow or to move well in fluids. We can look at the other type of flow as we finish. Because uh, in this lesson, I'm just planning to discuss the types of flow. I'll be getting back to explain the equation of continuity. Turbulent flow. It is a flow in which the speed and direction of the fluid particles passing at any point vary with time. The speed and direction vary with time. This is the opposite of streamline flow. We said for streamline, speed and direction at any given point is the same. But now for turbulent flow, we are saying speed and direction vary with time. So there are some causes of turbulence. There are some causes of turbulence. What might change a fluid from streamline to turbulent flow? And one, we are saying, abrupt change of cross-sectional area of the tube of flow. So in the tube of flow, if a fluid is flowing steadily, that's a steady flow. Now, if it finds a point where the width, okay, let's say the, the size of cross-section increases abruptly, suddenly, now it becomes turbulent. So if the size of the tube changes abruptly, now the flow cannot continue to be smooth. It has to change to some extent the direction. It will interfere with the perfect direction. And again, the change of cross-section is also going to interfere with the speed. When speed and direction are tempered with, then the flow ceases from being streamlined to turbulent. Something else, speed of the fluid changes sharply or suddenly and beyond critical velocity beyond critical velocity later we'll be defining critical velocity and on a nutshell just to mention it this is a velocity beyond which a fluid ceases from being streamlined flow so a fluid is sustained in a streamlined flow by a given limit of velocity through which it should flow with if the liquid flows beyond a certain velocity then eddies are setting turbulence is setting and that fluid cannot continue flowing smoothly it becomes as the flow becomes turbulent therefore change of velocity until it goes beyond critical velocity can also make a fluid to change its speed from being smooth to turbulent. Again, an obstacle is placed on the path of the streamlines and blocks or breaks the streamlines. So, streamlines, if you place a body which is streamlined, it will not interfere with the flow. But a body which is not streamlined, like the shape which has been placed here, and you drag it uh, on the on the streamlines this body will interfere it will block the streamlines it will break them and the flow will not continue to be smooth to not continue to be steady to not continue to be streamlined therefore an object or an obstacle placed in the path of streamlines such that the obstacle is not streamlined itself changes the direction of the streamlines and the flow of the fluid becomes turbulent instead of steady. We can mention something here. Characteristics of turbulent flow. Turbulent flow, the streamlines are not continuous. Remember they have been tempered with either due to speed, either due to change in direction, either due to change in the cross-section area of the tube of flow or due to introduction of a body which is not streamlined. So due to that, the streamlines stop being smooth and continuous. They are discontinuous. 
again, the particles do not travel in the same direction and have different velocities. So we have said it is this property actually, or this characteristic, which makes which makes a, a type of flow to change from streamline to turbulent. Therefore, for turbulent flow, the particles do not have the same direction, and they also do not have the same velocity. Then we can define a few terms here when bodies which are not streamlined, that is non-streamlined, move in fluids, they cause eddies, that is turbulence in the fluid. A body is said to be non-streamlined if it produces eddies behind, behind it. So as a body flows in a fluid, if it can produce eddies behind it, that body is non-streamlined. If a body can flow and not produce eddies, or rather the streamlines remain not disturbed, they continue being streamlined, such a body is also streamlined. Number two, critical velocity, which we had just mentioned. Critical velocity is the speed of a flow of fluid beyond which the fluid exhibits turbulent flow. Therefore, turbulent flow can be brought about by the overspeeding, if I may use that word, of a fluid. So if a fluid goes beyond a certain velocity, eddies are setting and the flow changes to turbulent from streamline. So thank you for following. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and share to friends. You can also reach out and consult us through 07 04 1 Fifty-three, three sixty-six.